Hey guys, KRX here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Gattai Hashaho Renketsu Bazooka from Resha Sentai Tokyujer. This is a set of the Tokyujer's personal weapons that can combine to form their team cannon. So this set includes several things. The Rail Slasher, Home Trigger, Shingo Hammer, Tunnel Axe, Tekyo Claw, and one Tokyo Resha. So let's take a look at them one by one. First up is Toki 1's Rail Slasher. So there's a sword, mauled after railroad cracks, with a couple of steam train wheels here on the hilt. You can see a set of cracks running all the way along the blade, with a red tip up here, and a real design on the handle too. Now thanks to their imagination powers, the Tokyo's weapons can do interesting things. For example, the rail slider can not only be used as a traditional sword, but can also send out rails that can flow around either attacking enemies or it can bind them together to make them easier to slash. So this has electronic functions in that it has built-in sounds. So to activate those, you switch on here and pull the trigger to activate. Get that sound. And after every fourth pull of the trigger, you get a special sound, which is more of a swinging sound than a striking sound. Next is Tokyo 2's home trigger. Now in Japan, the term home is actually their term for platform, though it's not quite known why. And in terms of being a platform, this is basically kind of the end of the line where a train stops, as this is basically a stopper point. And so it's also got a couple of can barrels, created out here, and some silver lining. And in this case, it can use this as a stopper, so as to hold enemies in place and then shoot them. Next is Tokyo 3's Shingo Hammer, or Signal Hammer. This one being designed after a railroad signal with a green and red light for stop and go. Now this is the one that kind of suffered the most. As naturally these are downsized, but this one is downsized the most. Both in terms of the handle length and the actual hammerhead. But regardless of that, in the show, you can cause shockwaves by turning the light from red to blue. Next is Tokyo Fortis Tunnel Axe, which is pretty much the biggest one. So this one has also a short handle, but that's a similar case to the Shingo Hammer, the Shingo Hammer that I'll explain when they combine. Now this one also has designs of ridges to be like a mountain tunnel, as well as these silver blades. Now because of its design, it can not only be used as an axe, but also as a scoop to toss enemies up into the air. And additionally, it has TQG on it, which stands for Tokyujer. And the last of the weapons is Tokyo 5's Tekyo Claw, or a Bridge Claw. And this one is a handheld claw weapon, but designed after a railroad bridge. At light in pink, right here. And this one has a very interesting power in that it can shrink enemies down to microscopic size, or a very tiny size, insect size even, making them much easier to defeat. Now, the thing about these weapons is that they actually tie directly into the Tokyo's gimmick, the Norikaya Henshin, as the point of that is that when they switch colors, they also swap weapons. So, for example, if Tokyo 1 and 2 swapped colors, Tokyo 1 would get the home trigger, and Tokyo 2 would get the rail slasher. That makes the battles a lot more interesting, as they not always are able to use them to their full potential, but sometimes are able to use them in new interest and interesting ways. And so in the include Russia is the energy Russia. This one is a smaller one, about the size of yellow and pink Russia. This one is done up in a nice silver color and is made of clear plastic instead of solid plastic like the others. 
who has this golden kind of lightning piece for uh, to represent the energy inside it. And of course, this one has hooks so it can link up to other reshas. But first off, gonna show off the sounds it makes in the Tokyo Changer. So first, the Russia summoning sound. Let's do that one more time. Then transformation. Just like with Scope Russia, it defaults to Tokyo 1, but adds that Russia's name to the end of the name. So then Nordkai Henshin. Next, we can bring in Tokyo. And by taking off pink Russia, we can replace it with energy Russia to make Tokyo energy. Now, similarly to scope Russia, because it's primarily used with weapons, it's unknown and probably unlikely that this will co actually combine with Tokyo in the show. But it's still a nice looking combination. And so now I can get to the main gimmick of these toys, which is to combine them. And so the combination process is actually very simple. First, take the rail slasher and the tunnel axe. Slide the top of the rail slasher into this groove on the tunnel axe. Lock into place. Then fold up these two halves here and snap them into place to form a tunnel. Then take energy Russia and lock it into place on this spot on the rail slasher. Then take the home trigger and shingo hammer and link them up together this port on top and snap the Tekyo claw onto the front of the home trigger. Then take them and link them up here and this will act start activating the sounds. So then it'll start a standby sound and to activate it, pull the trigger. This will launch the energy Russia into the tunnel and to a point where it stops at the end of the rails on the rail slasher. And so that's for their team attack, the Rainbow Rush, which can be used to turn the energy Russia into anything they want anything they feel appropriate to uh, pay, give payback to the enemy. And so afterwards, you can pull the trigger and it'll uh, make a generic firing sound or a basic firing sound. Now here is where uh, I kind of explain the whole thing with the uh, Shingo hammer and the tunnel axe. The thing about these is that they while these are scaled down, these are meant to be accurate to how they are when they combine rather than on their own. And as such, the shingle hammer is significantly shrunk down and the handle is shortened, as well as the handle being shortened on the tunnel axe, as these are two 
Weapons are typically held with a long handle for both hands. Now just to give another angle, I'll show what this is like from the front. And also of note is that it actually goes past this spring-loaded piece. And so once it hits that, it stops it from just sliding back down. So it will actually stay in the tunnel until you reset it. Now also of note is that any other Russia will work with this. So for example, I can take the red Russia from the Tokyo Changer. Lock this into place. Remove this. And then replace it with red Russia. Just like so. And one thing to note is that this is not based on gravity, but rather based on a spring-loaded mechanism right here. So it doesn't have to be at an angle like that. If I want, I can just launch it at a straight angle like this. Although the size of the Resha does seem to contribute to how fast it launches. As you can see, Red Rush launches a little bit on the slow side, but because this is smaller and lighter, as well as being fairly hollow, the Energy Russia launches at a faster speed. And the phrase used here is Shupatz Shinko which basically means now departing, but it is a rather equivalent to the English phrase all aboard. Although in this case it's meant to announce that the train is leaving the station rather than being a last call for passengers. And the whole thing is basically kind of neat because this whole thing is meant to simulate a train leaving the station where you've got the signal up here the platform here, the bridge here, rails here, and then a tunnel that goes into. And so on the whole, it's a nice effect that goes well with the train theme. And so also of note is that to release the rail slasher, press this button and pull it out. And to release the uh, tunnel axe, you hold this button and pull it off. So then when you're done, you can just switch it off. So on the whole, it, you know, I do have a little bit of mixed things to say, but mostly positive about the uh, Renketsu Bazooka. Now, me personally, as I said last year with the Fang Shots Healed Land Slasher, I personally have always loved the combining weapons from Sentai and Power Rangers. And so for me, this was a given pickup. But it's not for everybody. As I've shown, the weapons are highly shrunk down. And the thing about this is that it's the opposite of what's done in the show. In this case, these are shrunken down to match the scale of the Russias. But in the show, the energy rush is actually a lot larger than the normal ones, so as to fit the size of the weapons themselves. So it really is an inversion, and because of that, you know, a couple of them suffer, most notably the Shingo Hammer, which is really small even for a child. But the other ones are pretty good, even the Tekio Claw, which, though uh, not exactly everybody can hold it with four fingers, it still has a nice size to it. 
and at the very least, the Tunlax, Rail Sledger, and Home Trigger have a decent size for roleplay, and the thing about this is that it actually goes along with the theme, and is a lot more suited for kids because they can better use their imagination to play with these. But, the other thing to note is that I'm sure a lot of collectors might be thinking about getting this for the Energy Russia, and as to that, what I would say is that if you're not into the whole gimmick of this thing with the combining and the launching, then you really won't get too much enjoyment out of these, and you're pro you're basically going to have a rush, and then you know a bunch of weapons that you're not going to do anything with. And so in that case, in that case, I'd say to wait for the energy rush to, to be to be released in candy in candy toy form. That way, you can get this without having to spend the extra money to get the whole thing. If you're only buying it for the Russia. And because it doesn't have any kind of transformation, there's really nothing to worry about as it's basically going to have the same kind of paint quality as this one here has. So I would suggest if you like the gimmick here, if you like the combining weapons, then pick this up because it will be, because I really think you will enjoy it. But if you're only interested in the Russia, just weigh it out and get it individually. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.